Welcome to a ChatGPT interpretation of our tips to bidding at auction. This is tip number six, bidding toolbox. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the electrifying world of stamp bidding. We've got a crucial strategy on the table today, the art of ore bidding versus the tactical finesse of limiting bidding. Buckle up. Oh, absolutely, Bob. This is where the rubber meets the road in the stamp auction arena. Ore bidding, the crowd favorite, allows you to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with competitors on equivalent lots. It's like a stamp showdown. But hold on, folks. The wild card here is limit bidding. It's all about keeping your bids in check, ensuring you don't break the bank. Precision is key, and it's not for the faint-hearted. Now, up to bids and break tie bids. They've been making waves, but let's demystify, shall we? They might sound flashy, but in reality, they're more like marketing gimmicks. The secret? They're just your bid plus an increment. Right on, Bob, and here's the kicker. Sometimes the auction house might not even catch a glimpse of that up to amount. It's like a stealth move in the bidding game. So folks, our advice, keep it simple. Just bid the max you're willing to shell out for that coveted lot. Trust me, it all evens out in the end. What a nail biter we've got here, folks. Stamp enthusiasts worldwide are glued to their screens, witnessing the intricate dance of bids. It's strategic, it's intense, and it's why stamp auctions are a league of their own. Couldn't have said it better, Bob. This is stamp bidding, not for the faint-hearted, but for those who dare to master the art of the bid. Stay tuned, stamp aficionados. The auction drama is far from over. This has been a ChatGPT interpretation of tip number six of our 10 tips to bidding at auction. Be sure to visit philately.live, the global stamp collecting ecosystem. Try out our philatic chatbot. And don't forget, if you're bidding in stamp auctions, there is no better place than Stamp Auction Network.